I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. So today our plans got a little bit changed. Normally on Saturdays I have the day off and uh, Sean, who's a fantastic guy, works for us on Saturday, but he's under the weather today, which meant that he was uh, unable to come in. And I'm watching the kids, so it means we got the whole family helping out today. So we're going to find some fun ways for the kids to help out of the shop and uh, make it interactive and hopefully they'll want to come back at some point. Abigail is sweeping while Stephen is getting a mop. Jason was testing a pinball machine. Most exciting day with dad ever. <laughs> Missed a spot. Missed a spot? Yeah, it's here. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's always hard to get that last little line of dust in a dustpan. Thanks, honey. Okay, Steven, so what did you find in the shop? Well, there's this old, uh, this old coat that I actually fit really well in. I know, either humans were much smaller, which they were, or that was a kid's coat. It might have been meant for a young man. Turn around, let's see. Yeah, that's the style with the proper tails on it. So, and you have a top hat at home too, don't you? Yeah, I do. So maybe a good Halloween costume? Yeah. Yeah, it's not often we find some old clothes that fit you. Well, we'll bring it home for now. Okay, so Jason, tell me, what are you working on? I'm finding a key that fits. Mm -hmm. You have to find one that fits that pocket watch? Yeah. And any luck yet? Yes. Just right now? Yeah. Okay, let's see, is it working? Hold it up to the camera so we can see. Is the second hand moving? Yeah, look right here, this is the second hand moving. Hey, good job. I found the key. And that's solid silver, that pocket watch too. So the kids were a big help at the store today and I thought I'd bring one of those little steam engines home to try out. So we're gonna see, gonna attempt to not burn down our house today and get this little guy going. I've only uh, lit one steam engine and got it going before in my entire life. Um, this will be the second time. I guess we'll see how it goes. And if you recall, about a week ago, we ended up purchasing a massive collection of steam toys off of a very friendly fellow just out of town. So we've decided to bring one of these guys back home after the kids were there. They connected with the toys and brought them back with me. So now they get to see what these things actually do. I haven't tried this one out yet. No. Don't what? Don't freak your daughter out. I'm not trying to freak her out. My wife thinks that I'm freaking my daughter out. She's freaking her out. I'm not freaking her out. Am I freaking her out, Steven? Look at her. Okay, let's see. Hey, Abigail. Abigail. <laughs> no, she looks fine. That's the face of somebody who's not scared at all. <laughs> uh, well, that's why I'm doing it up here where it's safe and right near a water source. Uh, I'm gonna get a little funnel and we'll fill this guy up. Okay, how do I not know where stuff is in this house after living here? Okay. That's too big though. Do we have a smaller one? Well, if this is the smallest one we have, I'll try it. I know where nothing is in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, Steven, can you take the water and gently pour just a little bit in there? Not too much. Keep going. After that? Yeah. We don't have a tiny enough funnel, so I put it on a cookie sheet so when it leaks over. Which like it is. that? Yeah. Is there any actually going in? Uh, I don't know. We don't. I forgot to bring the right size funnel with me here. I don't know if any's going in. Well. Uh, yeah, I could do that. I think it's slowly going in there. Okay, so you don't want to fill it up all the way. You only want to get it to about three quarters. This one doesn't have a glass front. That's why the glass front ones are a little bit handier. You can see, but we're just going to make sure it's only about three quarters full. Because steam has to have somewhere to expand to. Okay, Jason, can you put the little uh, cap back on? So what do you think? <laughs> Mom, I don't think would want to see this because the last time I used the alcohol in here, it burnt really hot. But this has kind of a nice enclosure, so it shouldn't uh, come out too crazy. We'll start it up on the cookie sheet, protect our counters. Okay, cap is back on nice and tight. Okay, Abby, you got to come over. She's still, you, you can't be that afraid, honey. Come on over. Are you holding the dog in front of you like a shield? Okay, Abigail is like super nervous. We've got to get this back on. I don't blame her. I'm a little bit nervous too. 
And it goes on. There we go, like that. Go like and that. then this. Tighten that on. Do... This is how you steer it. So you can, have, in theory, once this thing's running, guys, we'll be able to steer it left and right. We should do this outside. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. We're, that's why I'm, we're gonna start it up on the cookie sheet. It is a controlled fire. It's not gonna be like an explosive fire or anything. It's nothing like that. It's gonna explode. It's not gonna explode. It's gonna be just fine. Ah, I'm just scared that. They've been making these for years. It is going to explode. Uh, what's with the walrus mustache? Hey. And where's your sister? She is cowering in the take shelter position behind the couch on the floor. Oh. Abigail, it's gonna be fine. These kids are local. No, it, it doesn't explode, guys. It just burns. Oh, it takes a minute to burn. Boy, this is why we're doing this to teach you guys about science so you're not so nervous around this stuff. Okay, does it look like it's lit? Yeah. It'll burn like a really, um, like a blue or a white flame. So it's not that. Well, blue or white flame is the hottest I mean, type sir, of flame. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. I might have to add a bit more. Fuel. No. Yes. And we are just using basic like rubbing alcohol, the pipe that you use. So it's lit. It's lit. So now that we have fire, see Abigail, it's not that bad. Come over, honey. Look, it's just like a candle. You're not afraid of candles. And it looks really cool. dangerous candle. Okay. So now that it's lit, we put it inside the firebox. Firebox. Is yeah. that actually what it's called? Yeah. So that hooks on there, and then we wait. So it's like a kettle boiling. It has to heat up enough where it's gonna actually um, start to produce steam. So now is the waiting game. Okay, so Abigail has gotten a little bit more brave, right? Let's see, thumbs up, Abigail. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's still a little nervous. It's just basically like the candle. These guys have never been around anything like this before, so. Um, it is lit, it's in there, it's heating up. It's gonna take a few minutes before it starts to go. And then we should be able to give the pulley a bit of a kick once it starts to steam. And this bad boy should start to uh, move forward. But we're just gonna put it in neutral position. So it still works, but it doesn't. Yeah, we don't necessarily want to start driving away on us right now because it's in a tray. So do you guys think it's gonna work? Yeah. Yes, uh, maybe. What do you think? It's a whistle. I think that the whistle will work. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful not to stick your hand in where the whistle is right away. Because if this, this could actually get hot. Do you hear that? There's a little bit of steam already. That's how we'll test and see if it's ready. We'll just pull the whistle down a little bit. Right now it's just hissing a bit. But a little bit more time and it should be ready to go. Yeah, like a little train. I can see the steam. Whistle. Your great grandpa guys used to run a steam tractor. He used to clear land for the railway. So this should be natural to us, since our ancestors used to run steam, right? Okay, blowing the whistle now. Oh, there's, we're starting to get some smoke there. Smoke? Well, steam. Probably a little bit of smoke from the boiler. In fact, there's my great grandpa right there, or their great great grandpa. And that's his steam tractor that he had. And his old car and some other stuff, but yeah. That would have been around, you know, 1900 to 1920, around then. And yeah, he used to clear that thing for uh, Canadian Pacific Railways. He used to make what they called ready-made farms. They blow the whistle. Oh, it's dripping. It's not, it's, it's full of water. Of course it's gonna drip a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna take the to I'm gonna take the pulley off because I wasn't thinking we're on top of the counter. If it starts to take off, I don't want to stick my hand underneath where it's a hot boiler. There, there she goes. Abby, come on. Oh, look at that! Eat it. Eat the whistle. So that sucker's really going. It's hot. It's hot. Is that how you like turn it off? No, it basically just. Um, so if I hadn't just taken that little uh, band off, this thing would be driving around like crazy. Probably pretty fast, I would think. Oh, there she goes. 
See, it, it drives. Oh, you're on. Did you really want to? Just kind of idling now. So what we're going to do, if you want to turn it off, basically, you just have to stop the steam. So we're going to just take the fire out. Like that. Ooh. See? Ooh. What, right when you blew it up, that's when it stopped. See, nothing to be afraid of. Pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Okay, now we think we kind of know what we're doing with this thing. <laughs> we're going to take it outside and let the kids walk it up and down the sidewalk a little bit. Uh, less risk of explosion out here, too. My wife would be happy. Yeah, it's all ready. So, guys, you just turn this thing left or right to make it drive. It'll go on its own. Uh, do not drive it on the grass. Why? Okay. Why don't we drive it on the grass? Catch well, the grass on fire. Explosion. Possibly. We don't want to catch the grass on fire. And the grass is a little bit dry right now because the end of the season. So uh, I have to start it up first. So let me get it started and then I'll let you take the wheel. Let me just check. Yeah, I can see the fire in there. It's definitely, definitely going. Work. And even Abigail made a special guest appearance. Right, honey? <laughs> so who's going to be first? You're going to uh, go first? Me, 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 me. I'll go next. Okay. Well, let's, let's get her started. Okay, I think it's starting to go. Keep going. No the kids have abandoned me with my little steam engine outside. <laughs> it did not catch on fire. We came out here to drive it. See, there it goes. Hey, guys, look, 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 look. Oh, it's going, it's going. Is it driving itself? Yeah. Okay, uh, see if you can turn it all the way around. Go back towards the house. Okay, so Abigail, it wasn't as bad as you thought, hey? Yeah. What did you think was gonna happen? It would explode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's pretty dramatic. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Uh, Jason, you got to drive it a little bit, right? So, yeah. what was that like? It was fun. Steven, you had it. You said it was driving yeah. on its own, right? Mine was driving on its own. Yeah. yeah, I think we just had to let it build up a little bit more pressure. I think by the time Steven had it, it was actually driving on its own. Yeah, so, what do you think of old fashioned toys? That's cool. They're fiery. They're fiery. <laughs> yeah. They give kids fire. They're secretly bombs. Yeah, but isn't that cool? Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. So I thought this thing was pretty cool. I never had a steam engine when I was growing up. I know my dad did. He always talked about them. Um, and so now I've had a chance to kind of play with a couple of them. They are pretty neat. Um, I can see what the appeal is. You know, it's science, uh, it's expansion, um, and you have a little motor that ends up getting going. And you know, it doesn't really cost a whole lot of money to keep these things going. It's just water. And in this case, we use some rubbing alcohol, which is really accessible. Um, so yeah, if you ever see one of these things at an antique shop, I say pick one up if it's complete, give it a try and uh, have some fun. If you've got kids, show them something different. And thanks very much again for watching guys. Appreciate you checking out our channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Follow us online at curiosityedmonton.ca, on Instagram at curiosityinc.yeg. And uh, we're also on Facebook where you can write us, you can see some of the stuff we have for sale and uh, stay in touch. So make sure to check us out on those places. And uh, thanks again for watching guys. Have a great day and bye for now.